Ready? Shooting! Here we go. East Jersey State Prison at Rahway is not the kind of place you come to voluntarily. And rolling. But Sylvester Stallone did for the making of Lawrence Gordon and Charles Gordon's production of Lock Up, a TriStar Pictures release directed by John Flynn. Cut it! Frank Leone is a model prisoner, finishing the last six months in a minimum security prison. Yo, Frank! What'd you bring me? Hey, here you go. Go kill yourself. I thought you were going to bring me a girl. Frank Leone is... He's every man. He's a normal, hardworking man who early in his life, made a mistake, and that mistake cost him dearly. He is looking towards the future. Hey, Frankie, what's up? It means everything's OK. A future he will spend with Melissa, played by Darlan Flugel. It's also very difficult when somebody is involved in serving a sentence or being away from you, and, and it's a forced separation. It makes that time together so valuable, so romantic, so intense. The love there is extremely special because it takes a special breed of person to put up with this. Take him. What are you doing here? You're being transferred. Transferred where? What the hell? But his future with Melissa may never come to pass. Who the hell are you? Shut up. Not if the warden has his way. Welcome to Gateway, Leone. Jungle? That's Warden Jungle, convict. Donald Sutherland plays the revenge-driven, sadistic warden who pulls every legal string to place Leone in his maximum security hell. Jungle, his whole life was ruined, everything destroyed, just because one of these people for whom, after living with them for so long, he has no nothing but contempt for, outwitted him and it humiliated him. To get even with Leone, Drumgold takes every opportunity to try to break him. Name and number. Leone 510. You're the only man that ever made it over my wall. You broke the law, and I was punished. Leone. I want to see the goddamn warden. I pay my debt to the state, not to me. <laughs> You're dead, Leone. <laughs> Mrs. Hell, I'm going to give you the guided tour. Frank doesn't want to become bitter. And his optimism becomes infectious to these people that think life is garbage and that they have nothing to live for anymore. Every day is drudgery. I wouldn't smoke around this, but it tastes as good as any dollar wine I've ever had. So he's a mechanic. He starts to repair this car. And in repairing this car, they all find a common purpose. Nothing's dead till it's buried. Did I tell you that? Yeah! His philosophy is your body has to be incarcerated behind walls, but your mind is free to go wherever it wants. You want to stay here? Or you want to go down to Broadway and check out the action? I want to check out the action, of course. Oh, shit. All right. Then turn left to 40 seconds. Too. OK, I got it. When you go behind those gray walls, there is a sense of doom and enclosure. It gets into your bones. It's, it's not a joyful place. And you have to create your own myth or joy or fantasy, which is what Frank Leone does. Lock it up! Finding the right prison location was no easy task. The filmmaker spent several months visiting eight maximum security prisons in the United States. But when they came to Rahway, New Jersey, they found the facility that met everyone's requirements. I think what we got there is something that you can't capture on a back lot, and very few prisons you can capture. I mean, you have to go to a hardcore prison, maximum security, big difference. All right, let's work. Push it. One, push it. Two, make it look easy. Three, come on. Push it. Four, push it. Five. Five, all right, good money. When it's cold, we don't have a lot of outside uh, experiences, I worry about the place. Well, this kind of thing is different. The inmates appreciate it, they're looking at it and it's gonna make the, uh, the colder months go by a little quicker for us. Who's taller? Who's taller, seriously? We went in there and people were laying bets that we wouldn't last but a few days. As a matter of fact, there was a certain group that formed a, a protective shield. You have almost 2,500 men and we had maybe uh, 30 guards. 
unarmed. And you just pray that goodwill abounds, and it did. Not so fast, Ace. I'm not gonna gouge you. A little thing around your neck, that'll buy you a spot for the day. Put a hole in your heart. I think it was frightening. And one night we were locked in the prison after, uh, so they got a count, and we are there till about, <clears throat> from the time we wrapped at about 5 or 5.30, we were there till 7.30 at night before they let us go. Gunshot! Gunshot! This is mine, though. Stop firing! I'm less likely to complain about anything after being in Rawway for five and a half weeks. Anything's all right with me. The weather, you know, uh, the traffic jams, as long as I'm outside, there's no problem, man. <laughs> Time's up. What the hell's the matter with you? I thought you were a leader. I'm not your leader! And this ain't a gang! We're convicts! We're prisoners, we're inmates! You're his too! All he has is his integrity, his soul and his heart, and his desire to get out, to be with his woman. And that's really what it's about. It's a case of survival under all conditions.